apply the navigator uh, mm. feature. Yeah. Also see the fish if uh not yet. I think oh. that information is coming, but at the moment just the bottom. Okay. But you can do bottom hardness as well. So if you click on the map, this one, uh, this one here, and select backscatter. It should be showing here. targets at the moment on the uh, on the screen step, step right back so probably the one thing that's a little a little bit difficult is on the wasp type you can't really see it until you actually scroll over it but there's your drop down for your options on any any one of the screens it's up. If I rewind that up and move it away you don't really see it so if you're looking around going oh heck where's the option for this do my fish histogram or anything, it's on the top left. And then on all screens? On all the screens, so top left there. So it is actually there, it's just it's just hard to see when it's collapsed. Okay, so triple beam for example, now I'm looking at three beams. Um, Flat and the surface is actually going to rise up and down. We can change the depth. Um, I bring up a C floor line. I can normalize the display. Normalizing is quite nice. It's going to. Um, is it the interviews? I see some. So normalizing is going to. Essentially, what it does is compensates for a change. In, uh, you've got the gain setting correctly. So it's going to stabilize it between all the beams. So it all looks uh, quite nice. Beam angle, I'm going to make that 5 degree beam. I'm going to let this and make that spread out over 15 degrees. Explain my depth, my depth, my roll, my hemming. And this is my advanced speed, so 2 to 1, 3 to 1, 4 to 1. So I'm just going to disappear off the screen faster. At the same time, if I bring up here my options, I can display a grid. The grid's quite nice for being able to um, Can you get a three three beam switcher for on the top? Yes, triple beam, there we go. So you can see where it... Okay, that's where you narrow the thing. You can move the yeah. So I can change the beam angle now, I can make it 15 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees. That screen's looking there, that screen's looking there, that screen's looking there. Yeah. And so I can make that narrower. So I'm looking at a smaller spot, or I can make it wider. I'm looking at a wider spot. And again, that's, that's, that's only show, making a change of what's visible on the acoustic side. It doesn't make a change to the mapping at all. Options. I'll, 
I was just having a bit of a play with the fish options and it's um, quite big. So this is our, our current fish history and you can see that the biggest targets we've got are up to 10. I'm just going to wind that back a little down to seven or eight. Now I've also got, you probably can't read a bit from back there, but uh, I can show sonar target and I can also go I only display fish between certain depths, or I can do it at certain depths on the sea floor. So if I'm only interested in what's on the bottom, I can go right. Show me only fish targets at five meters on the sea floor. We've got some fish pretty quick here. We've cut quite a bit of early activity just out of this. And at the same time with that show sonar target. zoomed right out, but if you zoom in on the boat in 2D and then put it in 3D, yeah. there and then it's not so pronounced. Right. Good. Yeah, so it's quite a lot of fish there. There you go. Uh, that's a little boat that our uh, one of our developers got hidden in there. Put fish. Put fish symbols on. Turn that on and off. Put that from FEC, <laughs> the key value there. Ah, uh, yeah, you did. <laughs> it's up in Gary while it's on 3D mode, it uh, just goes into that mode. But you, can, you, can, you can put in a, a time interval how long those fish targets stay there, correct? Yeah, that's right. So um, I think it's back under the fish options again. Right. If you're recording, you can still have it. Oh, fish move. Yeah, fish move. Here we go. 3D fish age. All 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 1 hour, 2 hour, 5 hours, 15 hours. Or all keep it there forever. So you, don't want to, you don't want to record it and have the state and come back and record it. No, so if I think they're all over the place. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So I just changed it to 10 seconds, so all the fish that are more than 10 seconds old have now disappeared. still there, so they're in memory.
Olympics there for obviously whenever you stay you got the snapshot. Um, but that's going to take a snapshot. Turn the chaffing on and off, so I'll just like click that. You'll notice behind you here we've actually got it to Max C as well at the same time. So that's that's wired. So if you see quick center on the boat that will bring us up to where we are. Yeah. 